Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna make cranberry apple bread. Cranberries are in season from October to December and you still have a little bit of time to get fresh cranberries. You can freeze them and you can use them later in the year in your recipe. They're super yummy. This recipe is really easy to make. You don't need a stand mixer or hand mixer. Everything is done by hand. You just need a couple of bowls and a loaf pan. Here I have fresh cranberries, granulated sugar, flour, lemon zest, corn flour. You can also use cornmeal or you can process cornmeal in the food processor to get a finer texture. Corn flour is a lot finer than cornmeal. I have all purpose flour, oil, buttermilk. Here I have some salt and baking powder. We all also have additional granulated sugar, apple, orange zest. Honey, if you don't have honey, you can also use agave nectar. I have two eggs that we're gonna use, and then also vanilla extract. Preheat your oven to 350, and then prepare your pan. Line the loaf pan with, or spray the loaf pan with nonstick spray, and line the bottom with parchment, and set it aside. For the filling, I'm gonna be using one apple. You wanna peel the apple and chop it up into medium small chunks and then add cranberries, lemon zest, a little bit of flour and also granulated sugar. For all the ingredients and measurements uh, you can find them down below in the description area. To make the batter first we have to whisk together dry ingredients so you need to mix all purpose flour, corn flour, salt and baking powder and now you can set it aside. For the wet ingredients whisk together oil, sugar, buttermilk, orange zest you want to crack two eggs into this add honey and then you need to whisk it until all combine don't forget to add vanilla extract and whisk it again spread the filling on the bottom of the pan Add all of the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients and using a whisk, whisk until all combine. Make sure you don't over stir. And then you can put the batter on top of the filling. This bread will bake for about 50 minutes at 350 or until a toothpick comes out clean. Once baked, you have to let it cool for about 5 to 10 minutes. And as you see, the top has domed a little bit, so I'm just gonna trim the top. And then, while still warm, you need to Loosen up the edges, just run a knife along the edges and then invert the whole loaf onto a cutting board. Or uh, you can you also use a small cooling rack. Carefully lift up the pan and then peel off the box paper or parchment paper. Let it cool completely and then you can either enjoy it or you can also freeze it for later. I hope you'll give this recipe a try. Don't forget to get those cranberries now so you can freeze them for later. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll get all the updates delivered to you via email. Thanks for watching and Merry Christmas!